Ask Reddit by S2Pi. Women of Reddit, what do you think about the fall of Constantinople in 1453 by the Ottoman forces led by Memdii? I'm not a woman but I just texted a girl I know asking her opinion and she told me to never text her again so I think she's upset about it. It's a sensitive subject. Welp I'm a Greek woman and I'm doing my masters in history, and have done a paper on the music about the fall of Constantinople. In summary, the fall of Constantinople was kind of inevitable. The empire was in its last legs, due in large part to the, the fall during the Fourth Crusade in 1204. It had a lot of internal and external problems. For example, Constantinos Palaeologos was never officially coronated, due to religious infighting. The Ottoman Empire had already conquered all of the farmland around, and was right to go for the kill at the time that it did. It conquered a great strategic and cultural landmark. The Hagia Sophia had already become a mosque on the 29th of May 1453, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's a pity for my heritage, but at that time I think it was inevitable. Edit, WTF guys thanks. Oh oh. Edit number 2, actually no, guys, the paper wasn't on there might be giants. It was on Greek folk laments on the event of the fall, and how accurate were their lyrics in relation to the actual event, they were fairly accurate, also deeply sad and lamenting the loss of a symbol, mostly, not the city itself. Finally a serious answer to the question. It was very sexy of him to move the ships overland. As an I stand be light. I love this mess of a city. As a 23 year old, I don't like that he did it at the tender age of 21. Do you know the kind of pressure our elders put on us because so and so son conquered Istanbul at 21 and we're sitting at home jobless? Very uncool. Not even a joke, they actually say that lol. I like when the leaves change colors in the fall I don't know if they had leaves so no opinion. Some leaves are red, some leaves are orange, some are even yellow, this is so cool. I don't know, if I were him I probably just wouldn't have fell. Ah, gravity. Thou art a heartless bitch. Constantinople, 1453. Edit, thank you for my first awards, kind strangers. When a guy finally asks me this in a bar after I buy him a drink, and he really listens to the answer, is the day all of my underwear will vanish. Immediately. Edit, there's nothing wrong with buying a man a drink. Your kings deserve a whiskey and coke and a compliment just as much as I do. Well, I have a new pickup line with a much higher chance of success than all of my others. One in about 4 billion. I like those chances. It gave us, this gem, https colon slash slash, youtube.com, slash watch question mark vs qrkzcytqg close bracket so I can't be too mad about it. Honestly love that song. I worked at a grocery store and would get annoyed at constantly having to hear the same songs over and over again, except this one. I fucks with this one. It was alright. Capital K. Well, Istanbul was Constantinople, but now, it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. So, if you've a date in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. Every girl in Constantinople knows it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Not a woman, but my mom and sister are. I think 1453 was an inside job, everyone knows Ottoman cannons can't melt Theodosian walls. Deleted. Deleted. Women of Reddit, how do you feel about the fetishization of realism and art among the general populace despite conceptually driven work still dominating the contemporary capital A art world? While a tragedy in terms of the last Christian stronghold in the East, there are many who would argue that the fall of Constantinople was one of the major sparking points to the Renaissance. Without those who fled the distraction of the city we might never have had the return of Greek and Roman knowledge held by the Byzantines as the true heirs of Rome. 
In reality there was not much holding the remnants of the Byzantine Empire alive once the farmland in Anatolia had been conquered realistically the city would only be able to survive for so long. In addition the Ottomans raising taxes on trade would block off connections to China and India which would help to encourage the Spaniards and Portuguese as well as the Dutch later on in their maritime shipping interests. Truly the fall of Constantinople and in turn the Eastern Roman Empire was a sad but important event to propel us into the air. Deleted. These are the right questions to ask women. Unlike the most other questions in this sub. That's nobody's business but the Turks. So take me back to Constantinople. There's his awesome doku drama about him taking over the city on Netflix. That man was a strategic genius. Since many people are asking for the title of the show, it's Rise of Empires, Ottoman. There are dozens of Turkish documentaries and films that have much better production and script about the same subject. However they all convey some kind of national pride in them. This show portrays both sides of the conflict in a very objective manner and as for someone who thinks history should be taken into account from every possible perspective this show is great for that. Am Woman of Reddit Honestly if it wasn't memed, it would have been another Ottoman. Besides, calling yourself the Roman Empire in the 1400s is just gauche. Calling yourself the Roman Empire in the 1400s is just gauche. Angry German noises. I met a woman once and I have a lovely Ottoman by my couch, so I think I'm qualified to speak, and of course everyone wants to hear my opinion. I'll break it up into a couple comments for easy reading though. And X200B. 1 stroke 15. Still waiting for 2 stroke 15. You forgot the single part. Only city in the world that lays on two different continents. It's magical. Duateror, Orenburg, Magnitogorsk, and Suez mean nothing to you. I like your funny words, magic man. Lol, recycled jokes. Took me more than a second to realize that it's not our historinums. I need more coffee. Deleted. Username checks out. Not a woman, but my sister thinks Memdii took all the credit and it was actually his close advisor Akshamzadin who did all the heavy lifting. Edit, I want to be clear, I just googled Memdii and came up with a bullshit theory to play along with the joke of the OP. I don't know a thing about this subject in practice lol. The real reason why they fell Constantinople. It wasn't just to fall, its main reason was because that was the bridge which was connecting the eastern Ottoman lands, Middle East, to the western part, Europe. They only had a connection through sea so they had to get a land connection. Also, the Byzantium there was getting solid ears from Europe to attack several parts of the Ottomans, that way it had become the most important job for them. Many sultans before Memdii tried it but failed. Memdii was 17 years old when he got a sultan and was successful on taking in Constantinople with 21 years. Correct me if I'm wrong somewhere. I read some books but still I'm not a machine lol. Constantinople was also a major trade hub with its central location. Also after taking the city the sultans were able to claim the title of Roman Emperor. Of course no one in the west would accept that title. The irony, all comments are written by men, probably. Some will never lose an opportunity to show their smartness. No serious tag SMH. I'm a woman and a history major, we do exist, there's tens of us. The fall of Constantinople was inevitable since basically the fourth crusade. Even looking back to the battle of Manzikert, Byzantium was on a very slow decline. In terms of impacts, it was a disaster for Eastern Christians, with the destruction of relics and the dispersal of the religion itself which can still be seen today as there are a variety of regional orthodox Christian groups. However, it did prompt a westward move of knowledge, 
which was key in the rediscovery of texts in the Renaissance. Um I mean ahahaha there's an ottoman in my living room s.